kids. Hi, you want to see my car? You want look at my clothes? Do you know you can be something? That's what we got to tell our, our kids. And I'll tell you one last thing. If we think we have a kid that might drop out, we give them a completely different path to a high school diploma. And we're going to be creative and flexible on the way in which they get educated. We don't want to leave anybody up behind, but I tell you, if people want to depend, you can't keep helping them. Because it isn't fair to those two ladies who work in Kroger, and it isn't fair to you. So we'll keep at it. It'll never be perfect. Okay? Vote this Saturday, all right? Right here, kiddo, yes. You know, I told him when I was in New Hampshire, I was going to South Carolina to wear flip-flops, and uh, you're doing it, kid. <laughs> yes. Well, one last one. You're going to get the last word, because I'm apparently going, I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going somewhere, and I know I've got to be on time. Yes, uh, sir. I drove up today from the University of Georgia, and sorry for y'all, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but uh, I did it because I wanted to let you know and let everyone else here know why I'm supporting you and why that support is unwavering. And I don't want to get too emotional, but it's pretty serious, but it has a happy ending. Uh, <laughs> like over a year ago, uh, a man who was like my second dad, uh, he killed himself. And then a few months later, my parents got a divorce. And then a few months later, my dad lost his job. But, and I was in a really dark place for a long time. I was pretty depressed. But I found hope. And I found it in the Lord and in my friends. And now I've found it in my presidential candidate that I support. And I'd really appreciate one of those hugs you've been talking about. <laughs> There's nothing more to say than I will tell you this. Um, as I have been out here, this is not unusual. I mean, that story is so painful, but I hear it all. Not that story, but I've heard about the pain of people all across this country. And what I've learned is we're going too fast in our lives. We need to slow down because there are not enough people who are helping those who have no one celebrate their victories and we don't have enough people that sit down and cry with that young man. Don't you see that's what it's about? We can rebuild the country, sir, and we can get people on their feet and we can grow, but is there any substitute for what you just heard? There isn't. So as Americans, let's just renew our spirit. Let's care about one another and not be disconnected. And together, we will rise this country from a, a position of where we doubt to a position again, being Americans, when we are so confident of the future for ourselves and for our children. And this is a hard one. I have two 16-year-olds for my grandchildren someday. Thank you all very much and God bless you.